Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding a fellow that I picked up at the Steampunk Beasts event. Island that is. And it's still going right now. It's actually only got 16 hours left, but we're going to open this guy up right now because I do believe that there is a breeding combination fairly soon that he is part of. So this is Killer Raptor. Unfortunately, he's got a lock ruin slot. Maybe we'll do something about that. He is a legendary. He is Earth. He is actually an attacker. He was one of the early Earth attackers. Should be interesting to see what he's got. Anyway, let's just uh, find him a home right there. Sure, why not, if that's where he wants to go. Okay, he also seems to be able to delegate responsibility, too, because he had somebody else come in and take care of that. Okay, that's, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. All right, where is he? He's hiding in there. He's hiding in there. All right, there he is. This is, um, yeah, probably not that. I was actually probably thinking of just calling him Blue, frankly. Okay, so this is Killer Raptor. He is a legendary. He is Earth. He appears to be hardened. Yes, he has a 20% chance of resisting negative status effects. His power is actually rather good. His life is a little bit above normal. His speed is really not bad either, so he's got some good stats here. He's not really that old, but he's definitely not new. Definitely not new. He goes back a couple of years. All right, let's take a look at some skills here. Let's take a look at skills. Okay, Dino Bite deals low physical damage, and we have Pterodactyl Attack deals low earth damage. Okay, he's doing low damage, but I do believe he's actually an attacker, so he should be a damage dealer. I guess we're going to find out. All right, and of course, that special skill, we saw Stampede. Deals very heavy special damage to all enemies. Okay, very heavy. The dial seems to be in the insane there. But it does obviously do a lot of damage, and that's kind of useful. Doesn't do anything else. Remember, this is an older guy, so we're going to have to see what kind of skills he's got, right? We'll have to see what kind of skills he's got. A dinosaur equipped with technology is a cool thing to own. Yes, it is, actually. Danger comes when you give it its own intelligence. Killeraptor has revolted against its creators. Beware. Yeah, I mean, when you're going to put technology on it, you might want to think of some kind of kill switch there to kill the technology. And maybe kill the dinosaur. They can be a little bit dangerous, you know? Especially if they, their name is Killeraptor. Yeah, kind of dangerous. All right, so he's just a little guy, so he's not going to be killing anybody. So let's get him up to level four. What, are you going to sneeze there? I guess he was going to sneeze. And we have a level four. Okay, so we already got the technology going over here. We have the technology to make him more vicious. So that's apparently what we're doing. Okay. And he seemed to like that. And he's, he thinks it's funny, too, apparently. Okay, I, I'm, I would think it was funny, too, frankly. So, okay, you guys are going to give me technology. And then I'm going to eat you. All right, let's find out about the skills, though. Let's get him to level seven for skill. Wild Rip. Deals moderate earth damage. Okay, well, you know, earth damage. No cooldown. Okay. It's actually, the gauge has got that as very high moderate damage there. So, uh, obviously, a good place to start, right? A good place to start. So, let's get him to level 10 for his next skill. Compiosaur Control. Deals low earth damage to all enemies. Oh, it's a group attack. And the gauge is, oh, it's a zero cooldown, too. And the gauge is actually showing kind of low moderate, but, you know, historically the gauges could be wrong. So, I guess you'd actually have to use it to see, right? But I doubt we're ever going to be using that one. Just saying. All right, let's get to 15, because we want more skills. More skills! Boost Bite! Deals moderate special damage, gains damage boost. Oh, that's actually kind of good right there. Um, I'm probably, obviously I'm probably not going to be keeping that one. I'm guessing he's going to have a better version of that. But we can just throw that there for now. Alright, I like where that's going though. I like where that's going. So let's continue to level 20. And another skill. Savage Slash. Deals heavy earth damage. Okay, one round cooldown. Not too bad. I mean, it's better than that. It's obviously the upgrade of that one. So we might as well just throw it in there, right? It's the upgrade, right? All right, let's continue to level 25 and his final form. 
Triceratops Control. Deals moderate earth damage to all enemies. Okay, one round cooldown. That's not bad. Good question. I don't know if we're going to be getting something really cool for the first spot. Um, I think we can do that substitution. I think we can do that substitution. I, I, I don't see any reason to keep the other one. We might end up keeping this one at the end, especially if he ends up being able to boost himself and he has another attack at the front, right? All right, there he is, his final form. He's bigger, he's got more metal, and he still thinks it's funny. It's funny that his masters did that. Because they're not his masters, they're dinner. All right, let's continue. Let's see what skills he's gonna use on his masters. Double bite, deals moderate uh, special damage, gains double, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was looking for. I was figuring if he it did this early on, then chances are he's probably gonna do double damage. And it goes for two rounds, too. That's not bad. So, obviously, we're going to put that there. Because it's upgrade. Now, if they want to do triple damage, I'll put that one right on top. No problem. His cooldowns don't really seem to be a problem, though. They're, they're pretty low so far. All right, let's continue to level 35. And more big skills. Big skills. Big skills. Pterodactyl Control deals moderate earth damage to all enemies. Is that different from this one? I don't get it. The description is identical, right? The description is identical. The bars are identical. The difference is the one we have, the Triceratops control, is actually, um, you know, it's a, it's a higher um, stamina. Other than that, it's the same. So, I mean, which one do I keep? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I don't want this one coming back. So I'm going to put this one up here just to keep it out of the way because I don't want to keep coming back. But, I mean, they look the same. I guess I would have to look them up to see exactly which one does more damage. I mean, the wording is exactly the same. It's the, if, At least if it was special damage, then you can say, oh, okay, so there's the difference. One of them is earth, one of them is special damage. But they look identical. Okay, all right, let's uh, keep going. Maybe everything will become clear at level 40. Shelter Bite deals moderate special damage, gains ooh, gains a 30% life shield. All right, so that gives him a shield. Okay, well, let's think about this. Well, I'm not losing that one because that's going to give him double damage, right? Not losing that one. Do I want to substitute this one for that one? I mean, this one could be very, very useful. I mean, it's an attack, but it also protects him as well, right? I don't know about these guys. I don't know what's going on with this, you know? I would think if one of them was better damage, I'm guessing it would be the Triceratops one, just because it's more stamina. I mean, it's five more stamina. It has to be better, right? I mean, this is a really good attack. Um, you know, I'm thinking that I do take this one out. For now, it wouldn't surprise me if we get a bigger version of this. But, I mean, this is just kind of useful. This one is useful, and then this one is useful. And then the one we have here is useful. So I think for the moment, I'm going to put Shelter by in. I mean, that's just really useful, you know? The extra, an extra being able to put a shield on himself, that could, that could end up being very useful in staying alive, right? Okay, I'm thinking we should get at least one more. I'm kind of hoping I can get something a little bit better for the first spot. Because those guys look identical. And I don't really see a reason to keep both of them. If, if there isn't anything, I don't know. All right, so let's go. Let's go to level 45. Savage Slash. That's the one I just took off. It looks like a great skill. It's just that I like having a little something extra in there too, you know? All right, let's go. So let's go to level 50. Okay, I missed this. I it drifted off there. Brutal Laceration. All right, so I figured there was going to be a bigger one. I figured there was going to be a bigger one. That makes it a little harder to keep this one. I mean, that's... It says the shield lasts three turns, but then down here it says shield two turns. I'm not losing that one. I'm going to put this one in here. I mean, it, where it was before... It was like it was like borderline, but now you're talking about very heavy earth damage. So yeah, I mean you got to keep this one, right? You got to got it. He's a damage dealer, you know. That's what it is. I mean, being able to have some kind of survivability is good, but he's a damage dealer. That's what he is. 
Okay, so we got two more shots, but you know what? I would be surprised if we see anything else. I would like to be seeing something else. Because, I mean, I'm a little confused by those two skills, you know? Savage Slash. No, we got the better one. We got the better one. And finally, we have... Savage Slash. Alright, so we're getting some repeats there. Alright, let's just take a quick look and see if we got something that didn't show up. No, I don't see anything. Wild Rip, that was the early ones. Alright, so that's... um. That's what we got. That's what we got. That's what we got. All right. So, yeah, I mean, those two skills, I don't know. I may have to do something about this. You know, the thing about it is they're both one-round cooldowns, and I do have other ones that I would use, you know, depending on the circumstances. If I'm going to use, I would want double damage and then maybe use both of them or something like that. But, I mean, this is a really nice big hit that I wouldn't mind, too. It seems that these are just identical. I'm probably going to have to look up which one of them actually does more damage. I'm guessing it's a Triceratops one. And then I might go back and get the one with the life shield on. Because I just don't see the reason to have both of them. It doesn't make any sense. Because you're not going to keep going back and forth between them because you also want to put the double damage on, right? And uh, then this one, which is a great single target one, you want to use double damage for that. So, I mean, I just don't see the reason for both of these. I don't. So I'm going to have to identify which one. I'm guessing it's Triceratops Control because it's got a bigger stamina. So, I don't know. I may have to do some reforming here. I may just leave him the way it is because, let's face it, I probably won't put him in for uh, defense. So anytime I use him, I'll probably be using him. All right. Anyway, look at his final stats. Okay, his power is pretty good. His life is, is above normal. It's good. Speed is not too bad, too. Speed is not too bad. His power is going to give him a lot of damage. Uh, that's good. And speed, as I said, the speed is not too bad at all. So let's uh, take a look at the skills again. And uh, we'll talk about these. I, I do believe I got the best ones. The only one that I might put back in will be the one with the life shield. But let's just talk about what we have here. All right, so we have Pterodactyl Control. Deals moderate earth damage to all enemies, requires cooldown. That is the exact same wording as the last one. Exact same wording. It has the exact same cooldown. This one is five less in the stamina. If they both do the exact same damage, I'm going to keep this one because it's less stamina. But I just can't see that. I'm guessing maybe Triceratops does maybe like five more damage or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's a good skill. It's a good skill. You can use it every other round. And, of course, it's very much helped by this skill. Double Bite. Deals moderate special damage, gains double damage. Two rounds of double damage for this one. So if you manage to get that one off first, maybe because of, like, Denial, then you can come back here and you're going to do double damage. So, yeah, that's, that's a very good combo there. And then you can go right back to this. Well, not to this one. You'd have to go somewhere else. Perhaps you would go to Brutal Laceration. Deals very heavy earth damage, requires cooldown. All right, single target hit, two round cooldown, very good earth damage. Very good earth damage. Once again, that would benefit greatly from the getting the double bite off. So if you're doing something in a double damage with this, you're going to do a lot of damage. If it's susceptible to earth, then you're going to do a lot of damage. And then, of course, then we have this. And this is, again, my confusion. My confusion. This is Triceratops Control. Deals moderate earth damage to all enemies. All right, so that is the exact same wording as that one. Notice, the only thing that changes is the name of the dinosaur. Another thing about it is the Triceratops would be tougher anyway, right? So I'm guessing that this one probably does maybe five points more of damage. The gauges are the same, but this one does do five. This one costs five more stamina. So I'm guessing that that's the stronger one. Also, let's face it, you know, a Triceratops is a tougher fighter than a Pterodactyl. Even though if it's a small target, Pterodactyl will just fly it up in the air and then drop it. So... Gravity would take care of it, which you can't do with a Triceratops. All right, so um, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to look these guys up, and I very well might substitute one of them for another skill that we saw, which is this one right up here, Shelter Bite. Deals moderate special damage, gains a 30% shield that lasts for three turns. Well, it says three turns, but down here it's two turns. Whenever you see something like that, the actual status effect is right. So, in other words, the three they mention up here, that's a typo. Maybe originally it was a three-round shield, and then they just changed it, and they didn't change the text. Always, always go with the status effect. So, I'm probably going to do that because there's no purpose in having both of these. 
you're not going to go back and forth with them. It's just something you're not going to do. You're going to try to get this one off at all possible, right? And then do this one, do this one, and come back to this one. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. So whichever one of them ends up having more damage, and I'm betting it's Triceratops Control, that's the one I'm going to keep. I'm going to take the one with the Life Shield and substitute it in for that one. Like I said, I don't really mind uh, the positions for this guy because I'm probably never going to put him on defense. I have so many great Earth individuals that there's just no chance of me doing that. Battlefields would be the best chance of me actually doing it. And at that point, you're just trying to wear down the other team and their options, right? So anyway, uh, this is Killer Raptor. Let's see. Um, you don't want health. You want damage. I mean, let's face it, he's a damage dealer. You prob I would probably stick a speed on him, though. Because, I mean, he has a good speed to start with, and he does benefit from getting lots of turns because he can buff himself. But he is a damage dealer. So I would go the, the, uh, the two damage, one speed. That's what I would do. I'd go the two damage, one speed. That way he does get to attack, he gets the boost off, and he can take advantage of that with using his damaging attacks. So he doesn't do anything special in terms of, like, bleeding or stunning or anything like that. He's just raw damage, and he can do it a lot. And his cooldowns are basically okay. I mean, you can get a circuit down without a problem with, with uh, the um, cooldowns he has. He doesn't have one over two, I don't think, right? Yeah, two round, one round, two round. Even if you pick that one, two round. And the one we had back on, the one I'm going to take is a two round. So, yeah, I mean, that's not really going to be a problem. And I wouldn't put stamina on him because he's just you're going to want him just to kill things really quickly. And, of course, that's in the name, isn't it? So this is Killer Raptor, and he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Not very modern, but good for what he is. He does a lot of damage. Two of those skills, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I was kind of hoping he might get one that was a little bit better, like a, you know, a low high or something like that, just so we can say, all right, get rid of this other one. I don't know. Uh, it just seems that the wording was pretty much exactly the same. I would like to have seen some difference in them other than the name of the dinosaur. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.